Are Harry and Meghan completely finished now, socially, royally, and professionally? Does Meghan Markle feel insecure about Prince Harry's relationship with Kate Middleton? These are the primary topics we'll be covering today. Welcome back to Royal News 365 channel. In truth, Harry and Meghan never established a steady profession outside of their royal titles, except for their unsuccessful attempts at dominating the worlds of Netflix and Spotify. Meghan's acting career didn't take her much farther either, with her role in a little-known TV show in Canada coming to an end. I'm Canadian, and while we're known for our modest TV productions, our films are slightly better. Socially, their popularity as a couple endured until their connection to the working royals dried up and people began to discover Meghan's true intentions. In terms of royal status, the only thing they possess is a title that many wish to see stripped away. Harry now makes only brief appearances in the UK for events he feels obligated to attend, and Meghan wisely avoids setting foot on British soil altogether. Are they finished? Meghan's arrogance may prevent her from acknowledging the extent to which the tables have turned on her. She had an opportunity to establish herself as a well-regarded and respected working royal alongside her husband, but she squandered it upon realizing that the role was far more challenging and less glamorous than being a Los Angeles movie star. Meghan's ultimate aim was always to ascend into Los Angeles's elite circles, perhaps a belief instilled in her by her father, who led her to think she could achieve that status. She'll likely continue chasing that dream to the end. Yet, Meghan's prospects of becoming part of Los Angeles's elite are slim to none. Her primary claim to fame is her marriage to Prince Harry, who has now become a figure of ridicule in Hollywood and globally due to the questionable stunts they've pulled, including their ventures on Spotify, their books, interviews, and just being themselves. Despite Harry's best efforts and his loving intentions, he may have overextended himself in trying to fill the void of an absent mother, offering Meghan every opportunity for success. From my perspective, he elevated Meghan too high on a pedestal, inflating her sense of self-importance. Diana, in her time, never truly disciplined Harry. When he misbehaved, she simply advised him not to get caught. We are now witnessing the consequences of this approach. Meghan's over-reliance on Harry and her determination to tie his fate to Williams, rather than allowing him to chart his own path, have done considerable damage. Regarding Meghan, success in Hollywood requires talent, which she lacks, and she may not be at the right stage of her life to cultivate any further. Meghan's strength lies in her ability to deceive and manipulate others, a skill she has demonstrated by aligning herself with influential figures like Oprah and George Clooney, along with numerous other unsuspecting individuals who hope to benefit from their association with a member of the royal family. Hopefully those people have since realized the truth and have distanced themselves from the couple. To be honest, she would have achieved further fame and work just by being married to a royal member representing the monarchy, but instead chose the victim path to spew spite and harm at all those she perceived as going against her plans, hence hence Harry lost so much and became a lapdog. I think not sure Meghan could have landed any more acting roles beyond Suits. Meghan had been written off Suits permanently. Furthermore, the producer, director, and castmates have made it very clear that Meghan is not welcome to return to the reboot. In fact, Suits is vastly more popular in 2024 than it ever was when Meghan was part of the show. Obviously, there is a correlation between Meghan being dropped and the show improving tremendously. And that's why she was scrounging around from 2013-2016, desperately trying to find another man to find her roles, provide huge amounts of money, and bring fame and credibility to Meghan's reputation after all, the only jobs Meghan ever found excluding waitressing and yachting that were due to her father's notable career contacts and awards in lighting and Trevor's connections in Hollywood. Meghan was even fired from Deal or No Deal in less than a week for making passes at Howie. Let's face facts, Megan can't act. She bullies co-workers both physically and mentally. She's lazy, has no work ethic, lies constantly, and is obsessed with revenge. As the world is reminded daily, Megan Harry are horrible people with some very unchecked criminal behavior. Hopefully there are no children for them to abuse and turn into psychopaths like their parents. Harry and Megan are a blight on and danger to. 
the UK, US, Canada, Australia, South Africa, and many other places in the world. Normal people, unlike the psychotic, deranged Sussex Squad members, despise Meghan and Harry's horrible treatment of both their families. Harry and Meghan have run through Harry's inheritance, spending millions on fake bots and paying people to attack and lie about William and Catherine. Guaranteed, Meghan and Harry are behind the ongoing media attacks on Catherine and the hospital staff who were bribed to steal Catherine's medical records. In their desperation to destroy the Wales family, Meghan and Harry are perpetuating their crimes of slander, libel, bribery, perjury, theft, royal jewelry, employee harassment, and treason towards the monarchy and the UK. Harry is being exposed for his nasty history of abusing women and animals. Both are being scrutinized for their rampant tax evasion, tax fraud, immigration fraud, immigration fraud, charity fraud, and many other breaches. Hopefully this is the beginning of the end for these two rotten, reeking piles of excrement. What is really telling to me anyway is that becoming a top star in Hollywood takes a lot of very hard work and talent much harder work than being a working member of the royal family, and they both failed to recognize this. However, it was unexpected. She has the unfounded idea that people like to hear her speak about social issues. She has nothing to say that hasn't been spoken about ad nauseum by professionals on the issues. She has no credentials to qualify her as being any more knowledgeable on the issues than anyone's next door neighbor. She's so enthralled with herself that she sees herself as all knowing, just what the world needed another boring speaker. After all, she has an overblown sense of self-importance that could be partially based on a class project letter with a feminist viewpoint sent to Procter & Gamble, which she took full credit for. She's a feminist in words only. She's aligned herself with anyone who'd socialize with her that was well-known or wealthy and ridden the crap out of their coattails till the next best thing came along, all to help her climb various social ladders. No self-respecting woman would do that, feminist or not. They're more from start to finish. She was never part of the Los Angeles elite, so wouldn't know what life was like as an enlist actress. On the other hand, I think we forget that, in addition to being disrespectful to the royal family, she has completely written off her Hollywood award-winning father. He knows many in Los Angeles, and her treatment of him has to grate on some who know him. Her narcissism just leads her to have very bad judgment. In the next print, a source recently said that Meghan is feeling worried and insecure about Harry's big change in his relationship with Catherine. Is this really true and how specifically? How are Meghan and Catherine compared? Meghan's dark, disgusting past has once again been dug up. Meghan's history of working as a sex worker is reportedly known to various affluent men, placing her in direct competition with other yacht girls who exchange sexual services for money. According to Kirby Summers, a woman who was sex trafficked and endured an eight-year relationship with an Illuminati member Rickless, Megan was allegedly connected to Jeffrey Epstein, Lolita Island, and other cabal members. It's said that Megan undertook eight yacht girl trips in one year, catering to globalist billionaires. It was during these excursions that she formed powerful, worldly connections with the so-called masters of the universe. However, her intimate relationships with these oligarchs did not yield her the respect, prestige, or security she may have sought. Sex workers rarely marry billionaires. In contrast, Catherine hails from a respectable family. She is articulate, well-educated, and undeniably beautiful with an impressive, graceful demeanor. Unlike Meghan, who often comes across as haughty and dismissive of ordinary people, Catherine carries herself with poise and humility. Meghan may not have been treated kindly by the elite and has shared a story of enduring hunger on one of her yachting trips. Perhaps Meghan resolved inwardly to marry a billionaire, despite her questionable reputation, aiming to eventually adopt an arrogant attitude toward the average person. Catherine, on the other hand, chose love and embraced her royal in-laws, learning their protocols and customs and earning their trust and affection. She has secured the future of the crown by giving the royal family three beautiful grandchildren. Catherine prioritizes her young family but also engages in her own charitable work. Megan, in contrast, appears more interested in her jet-setting, socially ambitious lifestyle, complete with unseemly habits and aspirations for wealth recognized by the public. She remains far from matching the grace and stature of Princess Catherine. Meghan's situation isn't driven by insecurity, but by jealousy her envy for Catherine, Princess of Wales, fuels her dark obsession. 
These are the key topics we'll be discussing today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these issues, so please leave a comment below. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching all our videos. We look forward to seeing you again in upcoming videos on the Royal News 365 YouTube channel.